Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to A Fictional Escapist. My name is Chris and we are starting another end of month reading vlog here today. Peaking a little bit early on the 24th, so we've got six days left, but honestly my reading has been awful and we've got a guest spot by Fred, the cattle dog that just walked past. Basil was here, a little black one. You've seen her before. I'm house sitting for my parents at the moment. But yeah, starting early because uh, my depression has played up something chronic in the last week and I won't harp on too much about it. Really isn't a thing very much anymore, but it's really gotten me this last week. So I have done nothing. And I know when I get into a depressive state because I will sit and watch TV for hours and hours on end and it will be a repeated show. So my comfort show is normally Will and Grace and I did half a season last night. Sorry, they're very noisy. So I know that uh, the old needs a bit of a fixer upper, but luckily I have wonderful people that come along to reading sprints and writing sprints and that has been the highlight of my week so far. But we're gonna start this vlog off strong. We're going to do an unboxing of Mark Timoney's Starbinder, that is the uh, novella that he's just release, released. You can get a free copy if you're signed up to his newsletter. I'll pop his website down below. But I ordered one of the numbered and signed hardback editions because they're just absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to do an unboxing of that here this morning. All right, just want to make sure that we're protecting privacy and Mark's address isn't listed on camera because I'm doing this one handed. Someone has taken some. Um, some learnings from the broken binding by the looks of things. Look at this. Move that aside. Got a lovely wrapped package and it's got a little ribbon on it, which is impressive because I cannot with ribbons. Isn't this delightful? I'm always jealous of people who can wrap things. When it comes to Christmas or <clears throat> birthdays, it's definitely my wife that does that because I suck. Are you ASMR? Are you guys, sorry, are you folks rippers or do you like going along the, the seams like that? Let me know, genuinely curious. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, they've got goodies. How beautiful is that? And I'm looking at it through a camera. The color really pops in person. Let's have a look on the inside. Number six, baby. I got my signed and my numbered edition. Thanks very much, Mark, for sending that one to me. How pretty was that book? So other than opening up Starbinder, I'll update you on what I'm reading, what I think I'll get done in the next few days. I honestly think I'm only gonna finish the two books that I've got currently going in the next couple of days, just with where my headspace is at the moment. And that's okay. Sometimes we have months where we just don't get it all done. And I'm very much looking forward to the Indie Chords next month, the, the readathon. So I want to make sure that I'm all good for that and I'm not burnt out by the time that that comes around because there's like nine to 10 books on my MBR. Can you hear the destruction that's happening behind me? I'm sorry if that's the case. I have been, I started Waking Ursa Minor by Helen Rye Peterson. So that's this one. Really enjoying it so far. It's a very quick read, but I'm reading it quite slowly just to make sure that I'm not doing it a disservice because I my headspace isn't quite there but I am really enjoying it. It's quite whimsical um, at the moment. And you know, we've got that coming of age, we've got sort of slice of life or a different type of life, which is very, very enjoyable. And I'm having a good time. I can see this being a comfort book now that I am going through it and having this as a companion during this mental journey um, has been quite delightful. The other thing that I've been reading is Voice of War by Zach Argyle and that's narrated, so I'm listening to that, and that's narrated by Adam Gold. Now, Adam Gold has a special place in my heart because he's been sending me to sleep during bouts of insomnia. His voice and his narration is so fluid and so soothing that I have to, I, when I can't sleep, I've been going back a couple of chapters, setting a sleep timer, and I'll normally be asleep by the time 
at that time I stopped playing. So thank you, Adam Gold, for helping me get any sort of sleep in this last week. I appreciate it very much. So those are the two things on my radar. If per chance I finish those two things in the next couple of days, I've only got an hour of Voice of War to go. I'm not going to start another audiobook until the India Chords Readathon kicks off because I want those pages to count as points. Uh, so I won't be doing another audiobook. I will probably focus on finishing Waking Ursa Minor. And if I do get that finished and I've got a bit of time, I will read Sins of the Mother by Rob J. Hayes to finish the month off. But we'll see how we go. The little black one, Baz, likes to stalk Freddy. <laughs> and like Pokemon battle him when I throw the ball. G'day everyone, it is Saturday. I did not update anyone yesterday afternoon. I was having a day, um, but I woke up and decided that I was not gonna be a sad sack today. So yay, I've had a very <laughs> treat yourself Saturday. I. Um, Got up and took myself out to breakfast after walking the dogs, and I'm very ready to go home. I've been here for about a week now, and I get to go home late tonight after picking my parents up from the airport. So, I have not been reading a whole lot the last couple of days, just headspace is not, not there. But I did manage to pick up uh, Waking Ursa Minor again last night, and I got to page... 294. It's very good. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. If you like that lighter, more whimsical side of fantasy, yeah, there's, there's dark undertones and dark stuff happening, but it's not necessarily dark to the point where it's hard to read and hard to follow along because it is so grim. There is a lot of hope in the book as well. And just, it's kind of refreshing because there's a lot of fantastical creatures. If you can hear the dogs barking, I apologize. It's been my whole life this last week. In fact, one of them is coming right now to probably jump on my lap. Okay, I did just get attacked by a dog. She fully, <laughs> she doesn't like me talking to myself. Hello, Basil, hello. She got a dumb look on her face, it's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> this update is never gonna get done with these dogs. I walked them this morning, then I took myself out to breakfast, like I said, and I finished off Voice of War by Zach Argyle. I only had an hour left, so I sort of just walked around and listened to it while I ate, and then when I walked home, and it had one of those endings where you're like, oh, no, that didn't happen, and where you immediately want to pick up the next book, but I do not have it scheduled in for July for the India Calls Readathon, so... I will have to wait, but I definitely am going to listen to book two. Uh, so when I get the next Audible credit, that's probably what I will spend it on because Adam Gold narration is so good, um, even though it, it has been putting me to sleep, but that's been by design. So yeah, uh, this afternoon, I'm just about to edit my video for Monday, and then I'm probably going to go out to the little craft beer place down the road and take... Uh, waking us some minor, read a little bit more, play with the dogs, and then pick up my parents, and I'll catch it whenever. everyone, it is Sunday afternoon, I have not done that much more reading, uh, truth be told. So from yesterday afternoon, I read like another 20 pages of Waking Ursa Minor. I'm not sure if I'm in a reading slump. Um, it's not the book's fault at all, I'm really enjoying the book when I'm reading it, but the concentration has just not been there with my headspace, I guess, over the last couple of days. But I am back home now, I came home late last night, so I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things and get some reading done this afternoon, as well as editing a video to go out tomorrow. 
I finished Voice of War, but I think I talked about that yesterday. I had my first World Hoppers experience this morning, which was kind of cool. So I'll be on a World Hoppers video uh, coming out. It's either already come out or it will be coming out shortly, talking about some LGBTQIA plus rep in literature and had a had a good time. So that was fun to be a part of. That's it for, for reading and for updates. I really don't have much more for you, I'm sorry. Um, but hopefully, now that I'm back home, I'll be able to read more and update you on Waking Ursa Minor. I just got to the halfway point, um, and there are some interesting developments. If you like, I would say it's, it's Sanderson-esque writing in that it's very easy to pick up and follow along with, but the themes and the ideas and the story that we're following is not not Sanderson at all. Just just in that, if you think of how Sanderson writes, he is very easy to pick up and to be immersed in the world. And I find that is the case here with, with Helen's writing. Very easy to pick up, very easy to be immersed and completely sucked in by the world. But um, it's, it's very cool. Has some cool elements, which hopefully I can uh, elaborate on <laughs> once I get further into it. But I'm having a good time. I hope everyone is having a good day and I'll catch you in the next update. Tell me this isn't the most entertaining vlog you've ever watched in your life. It is currently Tuesday. I didn't vlog very much yesterday except to take some B-roll footage. I've not been feeling very well. I've had this cough that has been with me for probably three weeks now, and it's turned quite nasty in the last few days, um, to the point where I have like internal bruising against my ribs and my chest. And now when I cough and I breathe too deeply, I get sharp pains through the left side of my chest. So I called the nurse's hotline last night and they were like, uh, it's probably just because you've been coughing so much and I took today off work. I don't generally take sick days. We have the option to work from home when we have something like a sniffle. So I don't really tend to take them, but I cannot keep my eyes open today. Um, I got up at 6.30, tried to take the dog for a walk. It was very lackluster, went back to bed. It is currently 11 a.m. And I think I've kept my eyes open for like 10 minutes at a time and I'm probably going back to sleep after this update. But I have read a little bit more of Waking Ursa Minor. Um, I'm up to 527, so I've got roughly 170 pages left to go. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's. I think it definitely was the situation I was in last week where I just could not concentrate and could not get into the story or into reading at all really. Um, but we're basically following this young girl, Sarah Kayla, who was an orphan and knew nothing about her parents as she journeys to fulfill this prophecy that's been put on her. And I don't wanna give away too much because I will do a full review on the channel and also over on Epic Indie, but it has some of the most interesting uh, takes on shifters uh, of any kind that I've read. So we have like the, the Ursidae, I think I've pronounced that correctly, and they are shifters who turn into bears at night. So the males of the population, once it hits dusk, once it hits dusk, turns into these big bears and they have to go and sleep. Um, and it's also like a little bit cheeky and they have just had like a winter where the bears had to hibernate because they're, they're bears. So they had to go into this big cave and hibernate. But you know, it, it sounds, I guess, a little bit tongue in cheek when I talk about it, but it's done in such a cool way and I'm really, really enjoying my time with it. Um, in all honesty, this is probably going to be the last thing that I read for the month. We've got three days left, including today. We've got three days left, including today, and I just don't see myself getting anything else done. Um, but the aim is to get those 170 pages done before the end of the month. So, yeah, I will catch you in the next update. This is my teddy. I've been sleeping um, with, like, nestled into its neck. Yes, I'm 30 and I have a teddy. Don't judge me. I'll catch you in the next update.
what a wildly entertaining vlog this has been. I'm in my pyjamas um, because I just woke up. It is 9am, 9.30 maybe, on Thursday the 30th of June. I was still got my little hospital badge on. So yesterday afternoon, after I was whinging about being sick, I decided in all of my wisdom, and any husband in the world will attest to my wisdom, um, that I didn't want to be sick anymore, so I decided to mow the lawn. When I stood up from getting the, um, the clippings out of the little catchment, I heard a pop in my back and I felt very faint very fast. Luckily, my wife was working at home, so I walked into her office and said, hey, I don't feel good, and then I proceeded to um, be sick and like collapse over the toilet, which was fun. Got very faint, got very flushed, uh, had the whole sweat thing happening and just couldn't move for a while. So my wife very lovingly said, I'm over your bullshit and we're going to the hospital. So we spent six hours in the hospital last night because I was having chest pains. Um, they did the ECG or the echocardiogram. I had x-rays done on my lungs and my chest just to make sure there wasn't any fluid where fluid is not meant to be. And it turns out that I sprained my back on top of just being genuinely unwell um, for the last couple of weeks. So I have done myself a disservice and I'm not allowed to uh, go to the gym or do any sort of lifting for another couple of weeks. But I did finish a book. Um, I haven't been reading a whole hell of a lot, but I did finish Waking Ursa Minor today. Uh, so this will be the last clip of this vlog. I just wanted to update and say that I have finished this book. I had a really good time with it. This book was actually like a companion book with me over the last little bit when I was going through that sort of bout of depression and even though I wasn't reading a whole hell of a lot I was carrying it with me and it was it was a comfort so that might be a nice thing for, for the author to know. I did reach out and let her know that um, her book did that for me which which is really nice and I hope that she appreciates hearing that. I had a really good time with this book. Um, I just read an interview with uh, Helen Rye Peterson for Spiffbo 8 and People have been likening this to A Mask of Mirrors and The Bone Shard Daughter is what I read in that interview. I haven't read either of those books, but if you like those books, then you probably like this one. I'm going to do a full dedicated review. Um, I will say that the last hundred pages of this book upped the ante significantly, so it was fast paced, it was high stakes, it was all systems go, and I am someone who does not like the ocean. I am scared of what's beneath the sea and it had my heart rate going very fast in those last hundred pages, but I genuinely had a very good time with it and I can't wait to review it and get those up on Epic Indie and also on the channel. So, if you have stuck with me through the sick, sad vlog of 2022, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, give one of these. If you want to see more of it, click subscribe at your will. I will catch you in the next video. Maybe let me know below if you if I have another month like this where it's sort of sucky. Um, if you want me just to skip the vlog or keep doing it anyway and just catch up on whatever is happening in my life and my reading. Alright, I'll catch you next time. Bye.